welcome back to my channel um, from the last video that I showed you about um, the candle making process that I showed you so I've decided to talk you through how I make another one so I'm just going to talk you through the things I'm going to be using so I'm going to be using this wax it's called pure soy s100 this is a soy wax and everything that i've mentioned in this um video i'm going to leave them in the description bar and with a link as well if you want to try and maybe lay your hands on any of these items so i'm going to be making two candles this evening so this is the wax i'm going to be using i've got my jars this is a 30 cl jar so i'm making two so i've got that i'm making two and I've got a um, fragrance oil, so I'm using this one lemongrass and ginger fragrance oil, and I'm using um, the second one, which is melon and cucumber fragrance oil. And then I've got the wicks, I'm gonna be testing. I've got these are two different um, wicks, so I'm gonna be testing that. I've got my weight there to weigh the um, fragrance and the wax I'm gonna be using. I've got my thermometer as well to check the temperature and I've also got this wee tiny uh, metal bath so it's going to hold the wick at the top of the jars and just another random um, thermometer there so I'm going to measure my wax now and I'll bring you guys back I'm measuring um, the amount of wax I'm going to use because I'm making two jars so I'm going to be needing um, 404 grams of wax so i'm just going to measure that house now and i'll be back as you can see i have um 404 grams of wax so i've just put a a pot onto the cooker now so i'm going to be dropping the wax that's what the wax looks like so i'm going to drop this in the water like that when the water is boiled so while I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to measure the amount of fragrance that I need. So for each, I'm going to be measuring 17 grams for each fragrance because I'm making two different smell. So I'm going to measure that out in a second and I'll show you how I measure that. So I'm going to measure the um, amount of um, fragrance oil. That. So I'm measuring the melon and cucumber. And I'm just going to put on my scale and I'll pop the jar on there and I'll press the zero button again so that it goes to zero. So I'm going to measure 17 grams. Yeah, so that's 17 that's 17 grams of the first fragrance and i'm gonna do the same for the second one so the second one is um lemongrass and ginger fragrance so same thing we did earlier on make sure the scale is at zero so i'm gonna measure um 17 grams as well for this second one Yeah, that's 17 grams so the water is starting to come to a boil so I'm just going to drop the wask into this so I'm just going to keep an eye on it and while I'm waiting I'm going to pop the jars I'm going to pop them in the microwave at the lowest heat up until the fragrance up until the wax is ready I've just um, prepped my glasses so I've labeled it so I know which one is which and I already put the wick so this is the thing that makes the candle burn so I've done the same for the second jar so I'm just going to put them in the micro in the oven 
at the lowest heat with the doors open so that it's ready for when I'm ready to pour the candles. And I'm currently melting the wax just now. So I'm melting on a very low heat. So I'll bring you guys back when it's fully melted. As you guys can see, you can see the wax is melting. So I'm just going to keep stirring it till it's fully melted. And then I'll be popping the thermometer into it to make sure that it does not exit um, 72 degrees. So that's the temperature that I need to make sure this wax is by the time I take it off no more than 72 degrees. So once it's fully melted, I will bring you guys back. You guys can see that it's almost melted. So my thermometer is reading 69.5. I'm just waiting for that to reach 72 degrees. Once it reaches 72 degrees, I'm going to turn off the heat, but still leave it in the water. I'm just going to take out the batch for the first one that I need. And then once I'm about adding the fragrances, I will bring you back again. So currently at 69.5 in another two minutes. Or three minutes it will be at 72 degrees so I'll be back once it's time for me to have the fragrance oil the thing is when it comes to um, fragrances and um, melting waxes for candle there's a certain degree you need to melt the wax up until and then once it's at that degree you leave it you let it cool to a certain degree so in this instance I'm gonna let it cool to about 58 degrees so by when it's 58 degrees i'm going to add the fragrances that is the smell i'm going to add it at 58 degrees so once it's 58 degrees i will mix it and mix it so by then by the time i'm mixing it for about two or three minutes i'll let it cool down to 55 degrees so this is the recommended um temperature that you're supposed to pour it into your glass candle into your glass jars so i will show you guys when i get to that um stage i might not talk a law but i might just let you know that this is what i'm doing so once this is fully melted at 72 degrees i'm going to take the portion i need for the first jar had the fragrance then i'll bring you back so i've just poured that into the small jar that i needed for the other one so i'm taking the measurement as it is now is at um 65 66 degrees so it's cooling down a bit so at this stage i'm just going to be adding the fragrance oil into it so at 66 i think it's still a bit um yeah i'm kind of waiting for it to cool down to about 60 then i will add my fragrance oil when it's at 60 or 62 i'll bring you guys back so guys um it's cooling down now so it's at 59.4 so i'm gonna go on and pour my first fragrance into it then i'm gonna keep stirring it stirring it stirring it stirring it till it's at about maybe 50 at 50 so see after i pour that is at 55 so i'm gonna stir that for about two minutes and i'll bring you guys back so i've mixed in the fragrance and it's at 49 degrees so at this rate it is safe for me to pour it into my jar now i've got my jar here on the plate there it's quite warm so it's at 53 degrees just now so i'm aiming i can actually pour it now so i'm going to show you how i pour it into this jar and i'm going to be very very gentle so i'm pouring it at 55 degrees so you guys should watch me as i pour this candle hopefully i won't shake so and it smells really really good it smells really good so now i'm still gonna leave it on that hot plate there because i don't want it to cool quickly i want it to cool slow and steady I want it to cool slow and steady so that's it poured now so as it is I'm not gonna do anything to it so I'm just gonna leave it to cool at its own speed without rushing it so I'm gonna quickly jump and do the second one and I will show you all 
what um it looks like and then maybe tomorrow morning i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after it's already hardened up i did not bother hardening any color because i've been enjoying the plain color like this i've been enjoying it better than if i had any dye so i'm just going to quickly do the second fragrance now and i'll be back so guys i have poured the second one so that's one and that's the second one so i'm just going to set them on a very warm place and then i will show you guys the following day on what it looks like and i must say they smell heavenly so this one is the melon and cucumber and this one is the lemongrass and ginger it smells absolutely fabulous i wish you guys are here to smell my kitchen right now like it smells great so i'm gonna bring you back tomorrow and i will show you what this looks like thank you see you guys later bye guys this is what my candle looks like this morning i've asked can like um use the heat gun for the top to smooth it out but it's still kind of like hardening up so initially i'm gonna have to wait for 24 hours before i light this candle so it smells absolutely great this is the lemongrass and ginger so i'm gonna leave it for 24 hours and then i will let you know how it looks and smell at the conclusion of this video thank you